Welcome CP Finite to 6-2, the counting technique, or the counting formula. Okay, you're like, there's a formula for counting? Well, yes, indeed, there is, especially when we're here in CP Finite. Okay, basic little concept here, counting formula. All right, we've been looking at unions, we've been looking at intersections, and basically, a little algebra here, the number of things, so this just means number, the number of elements in A union B is equal to the number of things in A plus the number of things in B minus what they share the number of things in A inter, sorry, intersect B. Verbally written out, again, this means the things in A plus the things in B minus the things in C. So things in A, things in B, minus what they share. So oftentimes it's easiest to look at an example. So an example here, okay? Let's just say our universe, our letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay? That is the universe we are considering. Set A, R, so X, such that X is a vowel. Okay? And we will say B is simply, I'll actually just write. So um, B are just letters A, B, C. A, B, C. Easy as one, two, three. Okay, so X such that X is a vowel is A, E, um, I, O, U, which I don't go there. Okay, so it's just A and E. Okay, now, if I want to know the intersection, so the number of things in A union B, that is the same thing as taking my members of A, so it's like taking the numbers of things in A, so the numbers of A and E, I'm going to add the items in B But notice, I have A in both of them. So that's why I need to subtract the intersection. So total number-wise, because again, that's we are concerned with the number of items. Okay, I have two, two items, so A and E are two things, plus three things minus one thing. So the number of items, again, this just means number. So the number of items in the intersection or in the union is two plus three minus one or simply um, four. That is what our principal states. The things they share minus the intersection. Okay? Um, simply put, say they have nothing in common. So using our same universe and sets, let's introduce set C 
And let's say that it are letters um, D, E, and F. And my question is, what is the number of things again, only now, and we will say B union C. Okay. Well, the number of things in B, there are three of them. The number of things in C, there are also three of them, but they don't share any elements. Okay, D, E, F is different than A, B, C. So, in this case, there is no intersection, so minus um, nothing. So there are six things. Okay, so if they don't share anything, then it's almost like subtracting nothing in common. So the counting formula, that is the main idea. What they are individually minus the intersection. Okay, that is the very basics of the counting formula. And again, it's going to seem easy, but it will get a little more challenging, especially when we look at um, Venn diagrams of three variables. But the counting formula very basically put um, your essential question. So very short notes today. Okay, the essential question is essentially what is the counting formula? But what you should post is I want you to give an example. So your own example of how it can be used. Example of using it, perhaps. And be creative. So again, what you're going to have to do is, so what I'd like you to post is an example of using the formula. You need to provide a universe, a set of the universe, a set, another set of the universe, and I want you to find the number of things, and label it out, of A union B. Okay, they might have something in common, they might not. Try and be creative, um, but that's about it there. So come up with those things, come on tomorrow, short notes today, and thanks guys.